Hi everyone, so I wanted to just give you one more video um, on Google Calendars. The first video is kind of a basic overview. The second one was going into the resource calendars, but also how to sign out a Chrome cart. In this video, I'm going to be paying more attention to how to do some a little bit more advanced features. Uh, one of the main ones being putting your Google Calendar into a website. So if you're interested in that, this is going to be hopefully a useful video for you. All right, so you have your calendars here, and I want to put one of these on my website. Let's say it's a um, student homework calendar. So if you want to put this on your website, that, so then students have access to this, and so they can never say, even if they're absent, that they didn't know what the homework was, uh, you can go ahead and put this on your website. So you're going to go to the calendar that you want to share, and you're going to click on this little down arrow, and you're going to go to... Um, the button calendar settings. Okay, so this settings uh, page is, is the most important page really for you. Uh, and there's a couple different things you can do on this page. You can customize the, the color size, other things that you're going to show on your website. So it doesn't have to be uh, one color or size. And then uh, the addresses, these, these buttons are important down here, especially if you're trying to add uh, this, this calendar onto, let's say, your calendar on your computer. So, for example, uh, on my Mac, I have a calendar program, and I know some Windows have these two um, calendar programs, If you, especially if you use something like Outlook, where you can um, export your calendar from here um, onto those calendars. So, and it gives you the website that you need to to paste in. So the I, ICS is a Apple um, Mac uh, file. So it's telling me if I want to upload this into iCal, into my iPhone or iPad, um, this is the way to do it. There are other ways going through your actual iPhone and doing it, but this is the way to do it from here. Okay, and so um, the other things is really just the, sh the sharing calendars. This is just the, the back way to go into how to share uh, calendars with people and maintain that. And uh, editing notifications. I kind of find these sometimes be uh, important because sometimes I get very overwhelmed with my notifications. So this is a good page to edit if you're starting to get a little flustered by that. Okay, I'm going to back to the, the calendar t details here. And uh, I've also had the export calendar. Now, the thing I need to tell you about exporting the calendar is that it doesn't then, it's not like a live view. So if you export your calendar and then you edit uh, the calendar on Google, um, the exported calendar is not going to show those events. So this is kind of like exporting it and it's like a final copy. So if you um, need just like a copy that's not going to change of the calendar, then you might want to export it. And uh, again, it's in the ICS file, which is Mac or Apple or, um, I mean, it is Mac or iPad or uh, iPhone. Okay, so now you're ready to put this into your, your calendar. Um, so it's this embedding this calendar. Um, section right here. Uh, if you've edited it as much as you want, you're going to go to this code here, which is HTML, and you're going to, on your keyboard, hit Control A, and that's actually just select all. And then you're going to hit Control C, which is copy. All right, I'm going to open up to a new tab and go to my school point. And this works not just only on SchoolPoint. Uh, as you notice, I actually use Google Sites to build my website. Uh, so it does work with anything that actually allows um, HTML coding. So SchoolPoint does. Okay, so let's say I want to put this under my uh, social studies resources. And actually, you can see I've already done this here. But let's pretend I haven't. All right, I'm going to... Put my calendar here. You're going to hit this button that says source. All right, and that turns everything into HTML. So this is actually what this page looks like in HTML language. And again, I'm just going to put this up here. And then I'm going to hit control V, which is paste. All right. Um, what this means, I know it, it may look a little confusing if you're not used to HTML, um, is it's not bad, I promise. Um, basically, what this is saying is that this is a frame and that the source for this frame is the website. So it's just giving the website um, that this, this calendar is located at. 
And then the style is just showing, uh, just explaining what it means to look like. So it's saying there's no border, um, and and the width is that large in pixels, height is that large. The frame, um, whether or not there's going to be frame border, or whether or not it's going to allow uh, scrolling. And then this is saying, okay, and now we're done with this frame. So that's all that this code is actually saying. Uh, if you a really nice way to also um, change this is if you go and you view your web page then, and you find that it looks way too big, you can come back and easily just edit the width and height, um, and, and it works. So I'm going to hit save. It says it saved successfully. All right, and if you unclick source, it goes back to what other people will will see it as. So uh, I'm not going to be able to actually show you a preview of this because, as I said, my my page is actually it bounces me to Google because I have some HTML code in there that actually um, I, I put into my School Point page, so it automatically jumps from School Point to Google site. So there's no way for me to actually preview anything on my School Point website, but I promise it will look. Um, awesome, and, and your calendar will show up on there. Uh, and so then, even though um, this is it, because it was linked, when you do make the changes on the Google Calendar, it's still going to be reflected in this iframe. So this is not like the exporting the calendar. This one will keep up to date. If you change it on the Google Calendar, it will change on your website. Okay, so please let me know if you have any questions about how to put a Google Calendar on your website. I hope you found this um, informational. Thanks.